Hello, I'm Congressman G.K. Butterfield, Congressman for the 1st Congressional District of North Carolina. The 1st Congressional District consists of 24 counties starting in Elizabeth City, stretching all the way up to the county of Durham. It has been my honor to represent the 1st District since July of 2004. I am a lifelong resident of Eastern North Carolina. I live in Wilson, North Carolina. I uh, went to college and law school in Durham, and, and for the last 30-plus years, I've been a resident and a leader uh, here in eastern North Carolina. I spent 15 long years as a judge uh, presiding over civil and criminal court uh, here in eastern North Carolina. But since July of 2004, I've found myself uh, in a very uh, honored position, and that is to represent the 700,000 people of the 1st Congressional District. Uh, the 1st District is a very low-income, low-wealth district uh, that has many challenges, but we are working hard to reverse those challenges and to empower families uh, in the 1st Congressional District. Uh, over the last few years, we have found our economy uh, in, a, in a huge recession, uh, unlike anything that we have seen since 1929. Uh, but the Democratic majority in the House of Representatives, when we were, were in the majority, uh, worked very hard to reverse the trend that, that we, we saw coming. Uh, for the last two years, we have not been in the majority, uh, but we've been working very closely with President Barack Obama uh, to try to reverse the recession and, and to bring jobs to eastern North Carolina and to struggling families throughout America. We have great challenges in this country. And this election uh, in May and November of this year will decide what type of country we will have. Uh, whether we will have uh, the rich and powerful making the decisions uh, or whether we will have working families who struggle every day to make ends meet uh, to, to be empowered and to succeed. Uh, this is an important election and we will make decisions about what type of country uh, we want to have. So I ask for your vote. I ask for your support in the May 8th primary. Thank you.